yeah welcome and welcome back to another episode of format podcast got a pretty good show for you here today gonna talk some lebron james the season is over congrats uh denver and Jokic. we know that but yeah we're gonna talk some lebron james and uh his uh interesting recent comments about the dunk contest and why he's never been in one but before we get to that you already know what to do if you're here on YouTube and you haven't already. Please click that subscribe, that like, and that notification bell. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, do a little search for the format podcast, and you can subscribe right there. If you enjoy the content, please give us a five star review. Um, make sure you share the podcast with friends, enemies, family, whoever, people that you know love sports and want to hear a different take on the sports media. So, um, you know what happens if you do what. If you do those things, then uh, we rise in the algorithm. It helps us find more sports fans and helps more sports fans find us. Thanks so much for that. Let's get right to it. Okay, so for years, the dunk contest was the main event of NBA All-Star Weekend, right? And um, obviously, even before the NBA did it, the ABA, ABA was really ahead of its time on a lot of things. ABA had the three-point shot before the NBA did. They had the dunk contest before the NBA did, but... Um, eventually the NBA brought it over and that for a long time was was the star the main event of all-star uh, weekend and um, it's just not anymore unfortunately and I've said for years that a big part of that is LeBron James now some people are going to call me a hater Bruce why are you always talking about LeBron why are you always talking about LeBron because realistically LeBron James is the reason why the dunk contest is no longer what it should be or what it once was I mean think about this right in the past We've had all time greats competing in the dunk contest. And it was like, if you were an athletic high flying type of player, it was almost a rite of passage. Like you had to do that. And part of that was because it's for the fans, right? They always talk about how All-Star Weekend is for the fans and they want to entertain the fans. And that's cool, totally get it. And so those all time great athletic high flyer type players were always there um, because they knew that the fans wanted to see that and they gave the fans something. I mean, of course, like I mentioned, 1976, you had Dr. J and he was the first guy to dunk from the free throw line, at least, you know, for, for the masses to see um, uh, going forward from there. You had your Michael Jordans and your Dominique Wilkins and your uh, Kobe Bryant's and your Vince Carter. Now, LeBron James is one of the most athletic guys to ever have played in the NBA. He is a guy who has dunked on people throughout his career, um, playing most of his career in an era without a lot of great rim protection. He's uh, he's really great in the breakaway in the open court. He's, he's made a lot of great dunks and given people a lot of highlights. And that's led people to wonder, why has he not done the dunk contest? And recently, he gave us a little bit of insight into that. And I, I thought it was interesting. Um, recently, uh, LeBron James said, uh, speaking to Bally Sports' Scoop Robinson, he said, quote, I don't think it was something I wanted to accomplish in my career. It's not a goal of mine. It never was coming into the NBA to be part of the dunk contest, you know? Making the NBA All-Star team was being the league MVP, winning Defensive Player of the Year, and winning NBA championships. Those were goals of mine. The NBA dunk contest was never a goal of mine. So it wasn't something that I had too much passion for, unquote. Now, that's an interesting thing to try to unpack. Because like I mentioned, one of the big things is if you're one of the most athletic players in the league and um, you're a guy who does a lot of amazing dunks in game and whatnot. The fans want to see that. And we've heard LeBron make commentary as to how the All-Star Weekend is for the fans and, and, and the NBA does a wonderful job of performing for the fans. And, and that's great. And I'm glad he understands that. But one of the biggest things is that dunk contest. And what frustrates me is not only did LeBron, a guy who's arguably the face of the NBA for the last 10, 15 years, again, one of the most athletic players, a great open court player, great in-game dunker, not only has he refused to do the dunk contest, but for me, the problem is because he did, he made that cool for other guys who are, you know, elite players who have the ability to be in the dunk contest to not do it. Um, over the last few years, we've just been seeing a lot of guys, I don't want to say no names, but guys who aren't big names and who aren't stars in the league doing the dunk contest. Now that has led us to see some amazing things such as Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon and all that's great. And we appreciate that. They really put on a show for us. But we know how much the fans would have loved to see LeBron James in the dunk contest. There's just no question about that. I mean, we saw Vince Carter in 2000 with Kenny Smith with the legendary call. Let's go home. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. And Vince Carter did absolutely amazing things that to that point no one had seen before. We saw, of course, Michael Jordan, you know, 
Air Jordan, right? <laughs> we saw Dominique Wilkins, one of the greatest in-game dunkers ever, and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Michael Jordan, especially in that 1988 dunk contest, which a lot of people feel that Jordan got because he was in Chicago, got a little bit of home cooking. But the fact is, those guys knew that part of their job was to put on that show for the fans. We saw Kobe do it. And so it's um, it, it's something. And uh, we, we see LeBron James, um, I think, you know, he was kind of feeling the pressure to do it. I want to say it's either 2009 or 2010. He was asked directly, you know, on TV and he says, well, I'm preliminarily putting my name in uh, for next season. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to do it. And so, of course, he uses the term preliminarily so that he can back out of it. But I, I find it, you know, kind of disingenuous that he's going to say, you know, that was never a goal of his. So I actually talked to somebody um, about this, somebody that had some um I, I would say uh somebody that knows what they're talking about and, and has knowledge to this effect and one one of the things they told me was that uh lebron he did a dunk contest in high school and he felt like he got screwed on it so that kind of soured him on dunk contests going forward that and obviously lebron being very very smart about his brand and about how he appears and such um he and he said this before that he's an in-game dunker he's not necessarily the most creative dunker which is one of the things you need uh, in order to win a dunk contest or to be truly entertaining in a dunk contest to be creative um, but he's an in-game dunker and he said that but um, also this person that I spoke to also said that you know LeBron knows that and he kind of feels like maybe he wouldn't be the best uh, dunk contest performer and as such he he doesn't want to do it and possibly look bad right so there's the issue of not uh, possibly not uh, looking good in a dunk contest and secondly him uh the one that he did feeling that he got screwed out of it and never wanted to do it so earlier in his career um i believe sprite and nike were both you know begging this guy hey do the dunk contest do the dunk contest but he just refused to do it and so you know it's it's really frustrating and then you know to hear this guy say oh i don't think it was ever something i wanted to accomplish i think that's just you know disingenuous but uh, it is what it is and LeBron is LeBron and he will do what he will do and he won't do what he won't do but I definitely think uh, ordinarily I wouldn't care if he did it or not my problem is all the great athletic players pretty much before you did the dunk contest and you made it cool now for big name players not to do it that's the problem oh LeBron didn't have to do it I'm not going to do it and so that's the problem for me and now we have what used to be the glamour event of all-star weekend now realistically and, and part of this is the way the game is played but it's now coming in second to the three-point shootout and um i don't know if that's a good thing for the nba so uh what i want to know from you is um are you okay with lebron james never having done the dunk contest uh do you think he's the reason why so many uh players now don't want to do the dunk contest and are you cool with that uh leave your thoughts in the comments section can't wait to hear from you can't wait to get back to you and uh i'll be back in the next episode and i'm out peace